Well, first of all, I just want to say a very big thank you to all my new subscribers. I see you guys. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Funke Shui Wabuisi. On here, I share with you some immigration opportunities, settlement opportunities, and thirdly, some business opportunities that you can take advantage of. So if this is something you are interested in, Please make do by clicking on the subscribe button and also turning on the notification bell. In my last video, I shared with you a new pilot that will be rolling out come 2023. In this video, I will try as much as possible to answer all of your questions. I know I had already answered most of them in the comment section. And I know this will be very beneficial for some other people that are looking at taking on this opportunity to put in the application come 2023 and also i will in this video share with you some job opportunities that you can also take advantage of you want to make sure you watch the very end i will be right back Touching quickly on the requirements, yes, it's important that you update your CV. And in fact, what I usually suggest is you tailor it and update it based on the job position that you're putting in for. It's very, very important. Please ensure that on your resume, on your cover letter, you mention all your qualifications. You know, if you have a certification in nursing, if you have a caregiver certification, whatever certification that you think is beneficial for that job posting, please endeavor to put it on the resume and on the cover letter. Now, there are lots of job opportunities on the internet. It's not as if it's a dead end if you don't have the QQI level five certification. Most company request for an equivalent certification. So if you don't have the QQI level five certification or the FETAC certification, please never to mention on the CV or on the cover letter, you know, the equivalent certification. If you have a certification in social work, if you have a certification in healthcare, if you have a certification, you know, in nursing, endeavor to put that on there because it's not a showstopper because most of these job openings, once you are being shortlisted and once you have been taken as an employee remember there is always an onboarding period and most of these healthcare companies will put you through a QQI training that is tailor-made to suit their need in that organization so it's actually not a showstopper just please endeavor to put that on there then regarding vaccination I know some people will be like what kind of vaccination are they referring to so vaccination like MMR vaccination BCG hepatitis B hepatitis B is quite popular they usually request that you have this done and also tuberculosis so it just depends on what your employer is is requesting for but most of the time um, it's always within these types of um, tests that I had just mentioned. Also your IELTS results. IELTS results it's not um, mandatory in all cases. Some employers may request for your IELTS result just to be sure that you can communicate easily in English and you kind of understand English you know when you're being spoken to. If you are a foreign worker it's important you have your because this is going to be used for your visa processing so when it comes to your driver's license it's not mandatory it's important you get that done before um, you travel or it's important you get that done before you get shortlisted so if you haven't seen the video where I elaborated more on this pathway please endeavor to watch that video i'm going to leave a link in the comment section and i'm also going to leave a link in the description box so very quickly we're going to be looking at a job opportunity recently i was able to stumble on um, a web page i kind of like the kind of services that they render and it's called haven bay and this company is in ireland so navigating quickly to the career over here, they talk about recruitment at Haven Bay. We believe in diverse and inclusive community. We welcome you to apply for one of our many and essential roles in a care environment. We source the highest standard of residence care. So it says, if you feel you would like to become a member of our team, our application form and cover letter can be sent to hr at havenbay.ie. So 
when you see things like this, um, I will always just suggest you take advantage of it. Remember that your CV is up to date and also captures the roles and responsibilities and kind of skills that is being requested for. Yeah, it just tells you further how you can apply for, you know, the job or you can either, you can also decide to call them on the phone and they have their cell phone number on there. So if you can give them a call just to inquire, I'm a foreign national, can I put in for this job? That will be great. It's always good. I always just like to call before I take any major step just to gain more clarity. So over here, you get to see the vacancies. They have quite a number of vacancies for healthcare assistants, for staff nurses, and also for housekeeping and catering staff. So we're going to click of, click on the healthcare assistant job opening. Here it just tells you the purpose for the role, what your role as a healthcare assistant will be, what you need to do, more like your job description, you know, telling you everything that needs to be done or things that are required of you and also have a download where you can download the application form for this role so let's take a look at the application form good thing about this application form is that um, it's quite easy it's not lengthy it's very simple to fill and um it says applications are welcome irrespective of your gender, marital status, religion. So over here, you just put in post applied for. That is for whatever job position. If it's for nurse, if it's for being a carer, that's a healthcare assistant. Please endeavor to mention that there. Asking for a personal public service number, which is, you know, more like a number that is given to residents of Ireland. So if you don't have that, please endeavor to click either you are an EU citizen or a non-EU citizen. That's what it means. Nationality, e-citizen e or non-e-citizen. If non-EC, please specify. Are there any restrictions on your right to work in this country for foreign nationals watching? If it's yes, then please provide details so you can say, um, yes, I am a foreign national. I'm being restricted because I don't have a work permit. I will be, you know, grateful if just your company can sponsor me to come, you know, work for your organization and also give to you my valuable skill sets so over there you can put that there and it says if no please provide visa details so one thing about one thing that i really like about this form is that it makes provision for non-e-citizens and e-citizens which is fantastic stick so that means that if you are a non-eu citizen it's easy for you to just put it on there you are not restricted you have to mention everything on there and you know if you are available to work full-time part-time you mention yes if you are restricted on your availability to work you put it there if it's daytime or night times so you are only available to work all of this can be put on here and it's important that once it's filled up you attach your cover letter make sure your cover letter is something that is mind-blowing that is captivating and also that is something that a recruiter or a hiring manager will read and they get to see all the skill set all the certification and the value that you're going to be bringing to their team if you want to see a sample of a cover letter or a cv regarding this topic please mention in the comment section that you would like me to share a cover letter sample or a cv sample that will help you in applying for this job opportunity so guys we've come to the end of today's video and uh, please let me know your concerns or your thoughts and feel free to drop your comments or your contributions in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that it gets to a wider audience and that way you encourage me to do more videos like this so guys till i come your way again i'll see you in my next and as much as possible when i get to see job opportunities like this rest assured that i will share it with you on here on the channel so guys i'll see you in my next video till then stay blessed and have a good one goodbye